there's not one person on the planet who likes being rejected. In this video, I'm going to share with you practical ways that you can overcome rejection because at some point we all have experienced it and there are some great things that we can learn from it and grow from. My name is Mia Mishdria and I'm a serial entrepreneur who loves God and who loves helping people. Let's hop straight into the video. Have you ever experienced rejection and just felt like you just weren't good enough? Like <laughs> that is real and that's something we're going to address today i was reading one of tom brady's books I, I think he only has one book on the market but anyway i think i felt so comforted in a situation or just in rejection when i read how he talked about how many times he was in a draft i want to say it was either his college draft or his nfl draft um, one or the two. But anyway, he talked about how he counted how many times they had to skip over him to pick other people until they finally got over it, got to him. It was like 191 times that they had to skip over him until he finally got picked. And when I read that, I was like, if Tom Brady could have been rejected in his life, I can overcome rejection because that man is great. He's a phenomenal football player. He's a legend. But I really feel like rejection is what molds us and propels us into success. You hear so many preachers say, and I know this is cliche, that rejection is just redirection. It is redirection, but it is redirection for us to get better sometimes in areas that we have not mastered. So I feel like, you know, rejection is painful, it's hurtful, and sometimes people are just rejecting us just out of uh, spite, you know, anger, being malicious, just being cruel or unkind. Those things do happen, but sometimes there's a rejection because we haven't met a qualification yet. And so rejection is not bad. Let's just say that. Rejection is education. It is a lesson to learn, to figure out which way we need to go to become better. So I just totally feel like, you know, if you've been rejected in your life, know that you're not alone and just know that Tom Brady <laughs> is, has been on the bus with us. <laughs> Tom Brady has been rejected and he turned out to be the greatest. If, if he's not the greatest, he's definitely up there amongst the greatest in football. So, you know, but I feel like if he hadn't been rejected as much as he had been rejected, he wouldn't have never turned into the loose cannon that he was, the uncontrollable, the unstoppable force that God created him to be. So it's almost like you need fuel. Your rejection should be fuel for you to get better. It should not be an identity that you take on. Rejection is not identity. Do not identify with your rejection. We only get better from our rejection. Have you ever been rejected about something that you knew you could have been better at? That's just a sign to let you know to go harder. So you know that, oh, this was never going to be my end anyway. You rejected me at something, and I've had this happen to me. Somebody rejected me in an area that I knew I needed to get better in. But I think the hardest part with the rejection is that you feel like, why couldn't they have been more compassionate with me with my failure or with my uh, inadequacy? And why didn't they believe in me enough to know that I was going to fix this problem? And why did they not have enough discernment to know that I was aware of my problem? And I just hadn't figured it out. But, you know, sometimes when somebody rejects you because of something they feel like you should do better in, then it's hard for them to even comprehend why you're there because they never had that problem. And that happens a lot. People are just not um, conscious that things that are given are not given to everybody. Everything that should have been a given growing up, everything that one household was given, another household wasn't. Even if it's something that seems sim simple. It could be the simplest thing that a person wasn't taught. And so when we run into them and we reject them or they reject us, it's like nobody realized that this was just an area of neglect. And that the person who was being rejected never wanted to not understand what they needed to do to be better. 
And so I just this, I just feel like people sometimes identify with rejection. Rejection is not who you are. You are fearfully and wonderfully made by God. Walk in the greatness of God, of who he called you to be. And if you have not arrived at the place you need to be in a certain area of your life, it's not over. You still have time to get better and you can and you will get better. Just have faith. There were so many things that I wanted to be better in and I could not figure out how to do it on my own. So I take back to my, <laughs> my greatest weapon and that's praying. I started praying and asking God for simple stuff. Look, Lord, I don't know how to do this. This household grew up with it. We weren't taught this. God, can you help me to understand this? Just for example, managing money. You know, if you're having a problem managing money, there was one time in my life where I just could not stop incurring overdraft fees. And there came a point in time in my life where I had to figure it out. Like, girl, you need to get yourself together. You know you need to do something different. So I had to change some things. And to this day, I don't do overdraft fees. Look, if there's an overdraft, we going and we catching it immediately. Like, I'm not calling having to get courtesy overdrafts. We're going to make sure that we stay solvent in this account. We're going to make sure that everything is covered. And if by chance there's a mistake, then we're going to take care of it immediately. And so, you know, you just have to come up with ways to make sure that you're taking care of what you need to take care of so that you can be better. Because, for example, having bad credit, credit may be unattractive to a spouse or the person you want to marry. And if you haven't mastered money, you haven't mastered debt, that person might not want to be with you. And I know this is just an example, but it's, it's like there are reasons that we're rejected and we just weren't taught certain things. Our parents may have had a habit of doing something that we didn't know anything about. And we just have the same habit because that's what we were exposed to. That's the environment we were around. But I tell people this all the time. If there's something you didn't get in your childhood or you didn't obtain or there's something you don't know, it's your responsibility to become better. Not to blame anybody else for your shortcomings, but to become better. Be the change. Be the change. And this is not a political campaign. <laughs> but seriously, like, if there was something that you neglected to have or something you didn't understand, figure out how to do it. Include God in it. Overcome it. Because God has given you authority to do it and you be the change. You know? So, I pray that you guys found value in this video. If you've ever been rejected, I just want you to know you can overcome it. I want you to know that that is not who you are. That is something that happened to you. And you are not the circumstances that happen. You can be better. You can do better. Even if it's not with the people who rejected you. It's okay. It's nothing personal. Don't take things personal that God may be trying to redirect you to. Sometimes I feel like I was I was rejected in relationships because that relationship was over and God was ready to move me to something different. And that's just what he used. God is so strategic in everything that he does. It's like you, we can't wrap our brain around what he's doing. I have gone back and looked at things from 10 and 20 years ago and I was like, God, I didn't even see what you were doing. But today, when I look at how that situation worked out, it was all for my good. It was all for my good. It was all for my good. And everything God is doing in your life is for your good. I pray that you were blessed by this video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment below the words, I am not rejected. I am an overcomer. I am better than I was yesterday. I pray that you guys found value in this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I want to thank you so much for watching and have a blessed one.